diagonal of db. So unit coupled db. That's very easy. Okay? So 3.1 db will be equal to the square root of xb minus xd squared. Please be aware, as I said, that sometimes it's not necessary to use x2 minus x1. It's better to use the letters representing the endpoints of the line segment. So xb minus xd, where did I get the, the b and the d? Because the question asked me to find the length of db. So I'm saying the x value at b minus the x value at d squared will be equal to the y value at b minus the y value at d squared. So this will be y value at b minus y value at d squared. So that's your distance from b. Then, what is the x value at b? It's a 4. So this will be 4 minus the x value at d is minus 4. So that will be minus 4 squared plus. The y value at, at d is minus 4. And the y value at b is a 2. Oh, so I think I made a mistake. Let me just check my substitution. Okay. Y value at b is 4. Y value at d is minus 4. That's correct. Then y value at b is minus 4, right, minus the y value at d is a 2. Then you square that. You simplify, you get 8 squared plus minus 6 squared. So this will give us 64 plus 6. You get the square root of 100. It gives us 10 units. So if you did the work, just mark your work. Are you following? You see how easy it was? Huh? Hello? See how easy it was? Even in your paper, your September control test. We're going to see a person who looks like I'm telling you, finding the length. Sometimes people say distance is the same. Right? 3.2 says calculate the coordinates of M, which is the midpoint of DB. This is also easy. So, your midpoint of DB is going to be equal to X at B plus X at D over 2. If you want, you can put x1 plus x2 or x2 plus x1. The y value will be equal to y at b plus the y at d all over 2. Yes. You get a mark for writing out the statement already. Mm. Generally, for, I think in this case, you might get a mark for the formula. Uh. So, you get the midpoint of db. What is my x at b? x at b is 4, so that will be 4 plus x at d, that's negative 4, all over 2. Okay, then y at b is minus 4, y at d is a 2. So the final answer, that is the coordinates of, d, of, of the lead point, is going to be 0. Because 4 minus 4 will give me a 0. Don't get it? Can you please be part of the lesson? Then minus 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2, you get negative 1. So this will be the answer. Okay, it's not difficult. Okay? Then the next one says, calculate the gradient of AD. AD. That's very easy. Mm -hmm. So the gradient, we are now doing number 3. I'll just finish doing number 3.2. So 3.3 now. 
the grade eight. That's grade nine. Okay? It's grade nine. 3.3 is a grade nine question. Okay? For 3.3, one a gradient of A D. So M A D is going to be equal to Y A minus Y D over X A minus X D. What is Y A? It's four. What is Y D? It's two. Okay? Then X A is zero. X at D is minus four. So you get two in the numerator and four to the four in the denominator, which is a half. So the gradient of A D is gonna be a half. That's grade nine. Okay? 3.3, it's a grade nine question. Any questions so far? Huh? Let's move on to the next one. Now the next question says, prove that AD is perpendicular to AD. Now if two lines are perpendicular, you have to find their gradients and prove that the product of those gradients is negative. So already, I found the gradient of AD. Okay? Now I need to determine the gradient of AB. Okay? So, my suggestion here is find the gradient of AB first. Okay? So, 3.4 MAB is going to be equal to YA minus YB over XA minus XB. What is YA? It's 4. What is YB? That's negative 4. Over XA. 0 minus xb, which is a 4. So my numerator is going to be 8, and the denominator will be negative 4, so it gets negative 2. Are you following that? Then, we use this formula now. M A D must be times 8. If I multiply the gradient of, of AD, and I multiply it by the gradient of AB, I must get negative 1. So let's check that. MAD, I got it here. It's a half. So this will be a half times MAB, that's minus 2. I must get minus 1. So a half times minus 2 will give me negative 1. Therefore, AD is perpendicular to AB. This is how you show that the two lines are perpendicular. And this, these steps are very important. I'm going to highlight it. This is very important. If you are proving that two lines are perpendicular, those three steps are very important. What? This is the conclusion. No, there's no mark for the conclusion. Okay. Any question? Okay, then the next question says, give a reason why palm ABCD is a rectangle. Why do you think that it's a rectangle? That has to do with properties of quadrilaterals. Which property of quadrilaterals can you use here? Yes. Okay, thank you. The main, the, the key thing to what you said, right, is that we have proved that A D is perpendicular to A B. Therefore, AD is perpendicular to AB means this angle is 90. If we use our knowledge of geometry of straight lines, okay, since AB is, is perpendicular, so it is parallel to CD, it means that AD is a transversal. So this angle will also be 90 based on co-interior angles. 
and this angle is going to also be 90 degrees based on our interior angle. Also, that one will be 90 degrees, you can say, based on core interior angles. So, why would you say that it is the thumb? Why is the thumb a rectangle? Okay, so you look for the magic to say all interior angles are equal to what? 90 degrees. Okay, one mark, maybe you can write because. AD is perpendicular to AD. You can write all sorts of stories there, but it's one mark, but that will cover the fact that it's a rectangle. We have proved that AD is perpendicular to AB, it therefore means that all interior angles will be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, it's an open question when it comes to the reason. Then, determine the equation of KL in the form y equal to mx plus c. Okay? Now, we are told here that L is a point on AB. Okay? L is a point on AB. So this point here is on AB. And we are also told that CB is parallel to AD. If CB is parallel to AD and AB and AB is perpendicular to AD. I'm sure you can agree with me that this angle here will also be what? 90 degrees. Am I right? Because KL is parallel to CB, which means it's also parallel to AD, and it's not perpendicular to AB, because AD is perpendicular to AB. Okay. Uh, to do that question, to find the equation of KL, you need to know the gradient of that line. What would be the gradient? So the gradient, M KL is equal to M AD. Am I right? Yes. Why are their gradients equal? Because they are parallel. Okay? KL is parallel to AD. Okay? So what's the gradient of AD? We got it as what? Uh -huh. half. <coughs> so this is easy. That's why it's two marks. Y equals mx plus C. Then we substitute the coordinates. Well, even, we don't even substitute the coordinates because this point A here, it's an X. It's a Y intercept. Which means the, y, the value of y is a is minus 2 and a quarter. So then this value minus 2 and a quarter is also equal to c. Because x is 0 there. So it means I can just write my equation. To be y equals a half x minus 2 and a quarter. Which is the same as a half x minus 9 over 4. You don't need to calculate the, the, the y intercept. Yes. Uh, that, that we have to make it uh, not really. Okay. Any of these two will be acceptable. That one will not be. Any of those two will be acceptable. Do you see how easy it is? Huh? For some of you, you didn't complete it. Right? Then he says, write down with reasons the coordinates of C. So this is the, this is the point there. What is the value of, of x at c? Yeah. Zero. Then how do you get the value of, of, uh, of y? Mm -hmm. huh? How do you get the value of y? Mm -hmm. huh? ah, x is zero, but what is the value of y? Uh, I, 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 <laughs> what? Use the distance yeah. formula. Okay. Well, okay. Aaron did uh, decided to use the knowledge of diagonals, they are equal. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal. This knowledge of distance. 
But is that the only way? Huh? Well, in my case, in my case, what I'll do, since AD is parallel to BC, means the gradient of BC is also equal to the gradient of AD. Okay? Are you following that? So, MAD is equal to MBC, and that's equal to half. Okay? Why? Because AD is parallel to BC. Hey, are you following that? Then, let's find the equation. Perfect. We can find the equation of BC. So it will be y equal to mx plus c. So y is negative 4. m is a half times x, which is a 4. So we end up getting minus 4 equal to 2 plus c. So c will be what? Minus 6. Then we can write here and say, therefore, the coordinate of c, x is 0. And y is negative what? This, this is not the only way. The way that you also shared, you can also do it that way. Okay.